There's like 61 products in that category. It's a game of tit for tat, and it's the tat that's actually hurting exports from our state, even though trade with China is actually up overall. This ship is loading at the port of Seattle. Its owner is based in Hong Kong, and Hong Kong is part of China. At the port of Tacoma, more ships work the trade between North America and Asia. Tacoma and Seattle have united their ocean shipping businesses under one banner, the Northwest Seaport Alliance. Because you see the two-way trade with China still creeping up, but that is Chinese imports coming in here. And Courtney Gregoire is a commissioner representing both Port of Seattle and the Alliance. We're definitely seeing an effect on the exports coming out of here. In the wake of the first round of the U.S.-China trade war, the Washington Council on International Trade produced this report in February. And this map shows exports based on counties. The deeper the blue, the more it exports. The deepest blue, of course, King and Snohomish counties. Needless to say, that's driven by Boeing, which isn't the subject of retaliatory tariffs, at least not yet. But other counties producing everything from milk and cheese to wheat and apples to salmon and crab out of King County are subject to 25% tariffs. Our farmers are really the ones taking the hit. Our fishermen are the ones taking the hit, and that's what's really challenging. Now, the Port of Seattle operates Fisherman's Terminal, and 72% of the product out of there is exported. The port says China's retaliatory tariffs have sent producers scrambling to find other markets. But overall, how much is trade up? About 11%, again, on the import side, according to the Northwest Seaport Alliance and the Port of Seattle. Of course, what the tariffs are designed to fix are multiple, including protecting, protecting intellectual property, mm -hmm. and our state produces a lot of that as well. Well, right. you said things like airliners are not affected, but will there be if there uh, really is another so turnaround? So everybody's or? sort of trying to figure this all out. Right. Um, we don't know what those retaliatory tariffs will be yet. Uh, this, the uh, Washington Council on International Trade, speaking with their executive director today on the phone, she says it's probably not going to spread to other products that are not already included, but the fear is that the tariffs on, especially these agricultural goods, could go up even higher. Okay. Thank you, Glenn.